Hey everyone, Rob here, and I got some updates for what's going on in Iceland in regards to volcanic eruption, earthquakes, all of that. Now, we're still feeling a lot of the, the earthquakes going on uh, in the city here, but one website that I found is basically, it's in Icelandic, and it just says, has there come an eruption? And that's all it is. And uh, they just put the answer here. No, that's it. I thought it was just a fun little website. It made the news. Good on whoever made that. Uh, the second thing we want to look at is this site here. Now, this is from programmer Artni Runnar Hjolvrusson. Hopefully, I pronounced your last name correctly. But he has prepared a three-dimensional map where the earthquake information are sorted by depth and size. And this is all coming from the Icelandic Meteorological Office. And you can see here we can rotate around. Very cool. Whoop, it's kind of lost it there. Let's see if we can get the orientation back. So we can see here, we can click and drag, move around, and we can see here at the top, we have Grindavik there, Færsvall, Kælir, and Reykjavik. We can see all of those in the surrounding area. So it's very cool. Um, in the top left here, we can sort by the magnitude, and you can see there's the depth. So if we go to a magnitude of three, it takes a second to load, and we zoom out, and we can see here the depth in kilometers, and then we have the GPS information on the other axis. So you can see here, everything uh, is along k -Lir. And then if we go to a magnitude of four, we zoom out, we can see that they're, they're quite a bit deeper as well. So it's just a cool thing that I saw. Uh, very interesting. I'll put a link to this in the description. So you can also take a look at uh, this information if you so want. And yeah, a bunch of fun stuff. The next thing is there's an expert in crustal movements and he expects that earthquakes over the next 24 hours could reach up to a magnitude of six or more. And he's also saying that the, in this area, the activity is very similar to the activity that was in the run up to last year's eruption in Miradol, which was near Fagritzfeldt. Uh, so he says the magna is clearly on its way up, but it's uncertain whether it's going to reach the surface. I mean, everyone's always wondering that. However, he believes that there's a considerable chance that it will happen and that there will be an eruption, which is why there's so much news about this right now. And according to him, the biggest danger now is related to earthquakes and rock falls. But I do want to mention that the old eruption sites have not been closed yet. It's just a warning that's been put out. So those are not closed as of yet. Um, the amount of magna and what's going to come out hasn't been assessed. So they still need to look into that. But he says the first signs indicate that it's a small amount but it's going to be better assessed in the next day or two. So we do have to wait for that information, but he says that it's far likely, uh, more likely than not that the fissure will open up between Fagersfeld and Kælir, and perhaps north of the former volcanoes. But he does stress that you can't say for sure. It's just how things are looking right now. No structures are in danger. So it's kind of similar what we saw on the last two eruptions. Funny news as we were moving on is, uh, here we have financial advisor Björn Gunnarsson. He was asked about the possible eruption and the impact that has on the Icelandic economy. And uh, what he was saying is that the long answer is that people have tried to estimate the value of an individual tourist in kroner, which is the Icelandic uh, currency. But it'd be complicated and it depends on, among other things, where people are coming from, blah, 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 blah. But he said the short answer is that yes, Tourism is the main currency generating industry today here in Iceland, uh, and it supports the krona, the Icelandic currency, and of course, a, an eruption, that's a kind of a tourist eruption, or tourist soda as they say it, um, is really good for the economy because it attracts visitors to Iceland, and uh, with that, they pay money to get here and pay money to stay here. So it's, uh, it's definitely uh, a good thing, he says, but it's something that... Uh, I thought, I thought it was funny that <laughs> talking about an eruption and how good it is for the Icelandic economy. Now, last but not least, we do want to take a look at an update. Uh, it's a couple hours later from, from the last video. Just take an update on where we're at with earthquakes over the last little while. Uh, you can see it's quite a few ranging. Uh, no huge ones or not a lot of big ones. There was a couple I felt. So we can see here, the last video I did was around 11, 12 o'clock. Uh, and now since then, we've had a number of 
earthquakes that uh, are in over four magnitude and then in in sort of the three to, to four range but if uh, the news is anything that's reliable i guess i should be expecting a earthquake of six or higher in the next 24 hours which i do have a live cam set up uh, that's pointed from Reykjavik towards the area that is likely the eruption if it occurs. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that if it does go off that we'll be able to see all of that from the live stream I've set up. But again, take a look at this 3D model. You can play around with it in your browser and see what you think. But until next time, I'm going to be sure to post tons of updates as they come in. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of updates over the next day or two. So definitely be sure to keep an eye out on the channel for updates. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.